Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. Okay, look, secret agents are on the loose and it is no telling how far they will go. It is no telling the miles that they will go to like be on your back, <laughs> to watch you, to watch your every move. First off, blink twice if you need help. Because there's some people in some real compromising situations. And they don't have nobody to turn to. They don't have nobody to talk to about. So blink twice if you need help. <sighs> so I was contemplating if I was going to share this story or not. I don't know how much of this story I, story I am going to share. But my duration <laughs> of being in the States, handling business, okay? <laughs> That's what I went to do, handle business turned to an overextended trip that kind of made sense. I guess it's what I needed, but it didn't really make sense to me. I enjoyed the traveling throughout all the many, 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 many states. But look, your girl had to go. And I had to go a little bit early because I was in a very compromising situation. There's a such thing, and I don't know if y'all know, but in the, in the, in the um, I was just say the spiritual community, a such thing as targeted individuals. And I don't know much about it, but chime in in the comment section if you do and what that looks like. But I will say somebody, somebody set some intentions on me, okay? <laughs> somebody set some intentions on me. And thank God for my intuition. Thank God for my intuition. I'm not going to go deep into the story, but somebody set some intentions on me and that stuff literally had me on the edge. Literally had me like, I lost myself completely. I lost myself completely. So it's really nothing to play with. You got these secret agents. You got these people out here moving weird and moving funny. You got people out here like, using other people to spy on you to manipulate you like to put you in situations like i just really i'm just really not gonna go that deep but you know exactly what i'm talking about and it can get a little creepy it can get because like i said you never know the miles that these people will go and really it's the weirdos that put them up to it it's like, how far do they want to go? What are they trying to accomplish? People want to know information about you. People want to know who you are. People want to know what you're about. What do you do? What do your day-to-day -day look like? So people will go any extra mile to get the information that they want. People will go the extra mile to get the information that they want and to get the results that they're looking for the funny thing is they think that you don't know the difference between you and other people is your intuition is on point your ancestors is with you you got spirit guides and angels hanging all around you that's divinely protecting you so every weapon that was formed against you that shit failed tremendously Okay, it failed tremendously, but that don't mean that it's not going to happen. That don't mean that they like that things won't come into your life and, and shake stuff up. Like that doesn't mean that people aren't still going to want what they want and desire what they're going to desire. And you might be in the midst of of it. Like that doesn't mean that like that stuff is very much true. And when people want to know something, when people want something. There is no telling how far that they will go to get it. Like I said, the thing is, they think that you don't know. But your intuition is so on point. Your connection with the uh, most high is um, is so on point. It's so tight like that, that it's nothing that you're going to miss. You may miss it in the beginning, but eventually that intuition going to kick in. That gut feeling is going to kick in. You're going to start to peep. The scene, you're going to start to observe the room and put two and two together. Your two and two game is on point. They think that you don't know. The miles that these 
entities. I'm not even going to call them people because some of these are soulless beings. They have missed that point of being a human. They are soulless beings. These people are narcissists. And a lot of times when you're dealing with these people hand in hand, when you're dealing with these people close, you don't notice a lot of their ways. You're too deep into it. You're blind to it. But when you step out and you see that their behavior is not normal, then you start to question, well, what is this? Because it's not, it's no longer a who is this. It's a what is this type of situation with these entities okay walking this earth <laughs> that look like human beings <laughs> oh my goodness the miles <laughs> that these entities will go is no telling it's secret agents on the loose you got people out here you got these entities out here putting people up putting people in their mess like and it don't matter who it is because when they when they when they got their mindset on something, they're gonna get it done regardless. It don't matter if they put a stranger up to it that they just met, it don't matter if they got to pay somebody to do it, it don't matter if they are totally out of themselves in the decisions that they make, in the moves that they make, the way that they moving to get what they want from you. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. The miles that they will go is extreme. And it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. And it's it's weird, okay? It could be scary if you allow it to be. Um, but yeah, like, they think that they're slick. <laughs> First off, they think that they slick in the ways in which they're doing it. But you got to realize, one thing that you can recognize is that these people are hmm these people are so far removed from themselves they're so far removed from that self love they're so far removed from who they are that a lot of times they're doing this stuff based off of jealous envious and want enviousness if that's a word <laughs> and if they and um and wanting to be like you wanting to be like you just wanting to like really know like what it is about you like if it is like whatever like the miles that these people will go to target you the miles that these people will go to get the information that they want about you is extreme and it's like if you have to go and you have to do all of that First off, you're doing too much. Second off, you're showing that your self-love, your self-worth is very low. Recognize that. <laughs> Recognize that a lot of these people, a lot of these folks, they're very insecure. One, about who they are. Two, about their life. Three, about their situation. Um, and the list goes on, Okay. They're very, oh, for about you, okay, you. They're very insecure about you in the decisions that you make and the moves that you make in the way that you look, in the way that you move, in the way that you think, and the effect that you have on people, and the list goes on, okay? The list goes on. So they want to figure you out very, very, very bad. They want to figure you out very, very, very bad. But it's very, very, very sad, okay? It's very sad that... They could put so much focus on you and not themselves that they don't know how to transmute that energy and bring it back, bring it back home, bring it back to themselves. So they put a lot of focus on you because you you get a lot of attention, first off. You get a lot of attention. So they're like, okay, if they get a lot of attention anyways, the attention that I throw their way when I get somebody or when I do what I do behind closed doors to figure this person out, they'll never notice. They think that you don't know. They think that you don't know how they're moving. No, you don't know 100% because quite honestly, you don't care to know. You think that these people is straight, uh, straight cuckoo, okay? <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And they really need to let it go. <laughs> but they won't. 
They won't. They think that you don't know. They think that you don't know that they watching that uh, they watching you that they on your social media. They think that you don't know. Like you, first off, you don't even let them know that you know because it's unimportant. It's not going to stop the fact that they still doing what they doing behind closed doors. But there's things that they would never imagine that you could put together that you would know and yet figured it out. You figured it out. Because you're just that different. You're just that bright. You're just that smart. Okay, you figured it out. And now you on your P's and Q's. Now you're on your A game. Because first off, you're not with that. First off, you're not with that. And they lucky that you don't call them out on their bull. But they're not even that important for you to call them out on their bull. They're not that important. They're not. Like I said, it's not going to do anything. They want to be. They want you to call them out on it. <laughs> they want to be seen. They want you to say something to them. They they want that drama. They about that life, okay? They is. They want some type of control over you. They want some type of control over your life. They want your life to look a certain way. And because it don't, it really bothers them. It really bothers them. So they had to bring in a, a group of people. They had to bring in people from the outside to help them out. They had to bring in people to accomplish their goals when it comes to you. Ain't that something? They got goals when it comes to you and it's not to better your life. What type of person is that? <laughs> they got goals when it comes to you. They got goals when it comes to your well-being. The miles that these people will go, it's no telling. They're very extreme in the, their actions. They're very extreme in their day-to-day. They're very extreme in their personality. They're very extreme in the ways in which they deal with other people when it comes to you, the ways in which they're talking about you to other people. It's very extreme. And quite honestly, it's really not that deep, but it's so deep for them. You are so deep for them to the point where secret agents are on the loose and you never know which corner you might turn and somebody might be working for this top dog they're the top dog (laughs) they're the top dog and they only like to deal with people who are their puppies they they only like to deal with people who gives them puppy vibes people who listen to them people who they can manipulate people who they can control if you not that person if you show them that you're not that person or you're not that person anymore they don't want anything to do with you and that causes them not to like you and now they want to figure you out because what gives you the audacity to not like them? What gives you the audacity to not allow them to manipulate you? What gives you the audacity to be you, to be free in who you are and not think twice about them and not consider them? Secret agents are on the loose and there is no telling the miles that they will go to get what they want. When it comes to you, they're super focused on you. They're super invested in you. You are a major threat. You are a major threat to them. And they will not stop until they get what they want. And quite honestly, who knows what that is? They probably don't even know. They just really don't even like want you to be happy. They don't want you to be who you are. They don't want like... Nobody around them to be happy because they're not happy with themselves. They're not happy themselves. Like they haven't found that peace within. This is why they're moving like this. They ain't found that peace within. So they're trying to find peace in tormenting you. They're trying to find peace in like negativity. Like they really find peace in negativity. They want to find a reason to... How can I say this? They want to find a reason to get rid of you, okay? (laughs) In whichever ways that that looks like. Like, they really, that's like their goal. That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm seeing. So, their goals and your goals is totally different. You don't even think about them for real, for real. Like, until something pops up, something comes up, and then it's like, you know who you're dealing with now. That's the beauty. You know who you're dealing with, and... They're not the ones for you, but stay away from these people. The miles that they will go, the extremes that they have gone, 
based off of their own insecurities, you never know. You never know. So if this video hit different, if you enjoyed it, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you are not a member on this channel, channel already, I invite you to become a member on this channel for 99 cents, okay? And if you ain't got time yet already, look, what you waiting on? Click the link down in my description box and get you a free $100 just for signing up and setting up your direct deposit. You can change that stuff later. Get the $100 and run, okay? If that's what you want to do. But quite honestly, I love my Chime account. They don't even charge me no extra fees when I take money out the ATM abroad, okay? That's what's up. Look. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.